Law has several types of strings that you can use that goes into a particular stance that allows access to several gimmicks that you can use against the opponent. Now, I tend to categorize Law players in two playstyles, the slide kick spammer or the dragon kick spammer. So for the video, I'll be showcasing exactly these kinds of knowledge checks that has to do with these types of two styles with Law. Starting out, we have the slide kick. Now, slide kick can be done by simply just crouching down into a kind of like a pivot motion like this, down forward into another down. And as you do that, you go into a slide kick by pressing three. But there is an easier way to do this, and that is by going into the dragon charge stance with down one plus two. If a law player decides to go either manually or through certain strings, that allows access to Dragon Charge. He can go into a down forward motion and go into the crouching position. Now, once you do this, you do not need to shimmy to go get the sidekick to proc. You simply just do down one plus two, down forward into three, and that's it. You get yourself the sidekick. Very easy. Once it's done, you can go into a free one plus two right afterwards. It does not matter if you decide to stand up quickly enough into a block, you'll still get hit. Now, there are certain means that you can still block it, but it depends on the execution and the mix-up being used. Now, if he wants to, he can also trick you into going to the crouching motion from Dragon Charge, and then from there, instead of going for the slide kick, he can go for the wall standing to launch. Now, if the opponent blocks it, it is minus 18, so you can actually punish the law instead if this was to happen, or any other types of launches you can use against the opponent, if you can reach, because it does have a bit of push block. Then, when it comes to the Dragon Kick, forward four into Dragon Charge, this is plus seven. So if the opponent ends up blocking it, the law player can still continue trapping you into his strings and bombard you with whatever types of mix-ups that he can use against you. And then final will be the forward three from Dragon Charge, which is a power crush. This is minus 13, so you can punish it with a 10 frame to a 13 frame punish. Now you are able to escape it by sidewalking the moves, regardless if it's the power crush version or the dragon kick or legend kick as it's called to most law players. But be mindful that the two moves have a bit of tracking, so when it's used in tangent with certain strings that go into Dragon's Charge, you will be needing to react quicker just to be able to sidewalk the move away from getting hit. Now the issue is, when it comes to this particular type of trait or playstyle that some law players like to go for, is that law players have several strings, and by several I mean a dozen strings they can use, they can go into the Dragon Charge stance. For example, they can go into 4222, that goes into Dragon Charge stance. They can also do it from a 1222, back one into forwards, Back 1, 2 into forwards. 4, 3 into forwards. 4, 3, 4 into forwards. And there's many more strings that you can use that can go into the Dragon Shard stance. So it is up to you to distinguish all of the strings that he uses that goes into the stance. Now, in order to beat the slide kick in itself, if you do manage to block the slide kick coming in, you can do a wall standing four to then beat the move right afterwards. There's no other move that you can use, but depending on your experimentation with your character, you can figure out whether or not if you can beat it with other moves in tangent. If you do manage to use a wall standing four, depending on your character, you can still continue the combo right afterwards. So you do not need to be afraid when trying to block the incoming sidekick and then using either a wall stunning 4. Now for the characters that can't really use a wall stunning 4 like Steve, you can try going for a wall stunning 1 instead. Now I also have to remind you guys that there's actually another type of move that you can use, several moves in fact, that goes into the sidekick motion. He doesn't have to go into Dragon Shard stance to do it. For example, if he does this, you can also perform the crouching motion cancel into the sidekick. So if you ever do see a law player doing this, there's a chance that he might go for the slide kick. 
but with the same mix-up, he can decide to go for the Wolf Standing 2 option instead. Another screen that can go into the Psychic Motion is by pressing down 1, into the down 4, into 3. So same thing, you can set up into the Wolf Standing 2 if he wants to. As long as you distinguish between the two moves, you'll be able to then punish the law accordingly. Now I'll introduce several strings that you'll have to be wary of against the law besides simply just the slide kick and the power crush mix up that you can use. For example, one particular type of string that laws love to use is the 3 plus 4 into 4. If you do come across a law player that loves to throw out these moves, if you do manage to block the incoming the 3 plus 4 hit, you can then duck the last hit. As long as you stay crouching when this happens, you don't have to worry about what may happen next. As an example, if you do try to get right back up once he does the Legend Kick, you'll still have to worry though that if you do manage to get right back up when you do crouch down thinking that the Legend Kick was over, there is still a chance that you'll still get hit by the incoming Legend Kick anyways because it has a lingering hitbox. So if you don't immediately stand back up into a blocking state, then you can then block the incoming legend kick. And as long as you're quick enough, you can then launch the law accordingly. The next string that laws like to use as well is the down forward 3. If you do manage to block the low kick right afterwards, you can stay ducking until the last set is over with to then punish the law accordingly. And then the last string that I would recommend to also learn how to block is the incoming back 2, 3, 4. This entire string is not exactly safe, but you have to worry about the fact that he can go into a mid, into a low, into another mid. If you do manage to block the first hit, immediately try to low parry the second hit, which is the low. You cannot attempt to sidestep the third hit if you try to. It's impossible. Now the second variation of the same string is that he follows up into a second low as his final hit. If you do block this, this is an immediate launch against the opponent. Don't be afraid to then go with your launching wall sunny move if you have one. And if not, try using a hop kick instead if again you have a hop kick. But if you don't want to block it because you're not too sure whether or not it's coming out, you can attempt to hop kick or use some kind of jumping attack against the opponent. Something like that, but usually you'll go over them. Or if you're playing law against other law, you can just do your up forward four. Essentially doing your hop kick. Now law has a similar move that he can use that looks exactly the same as the final hit of the string, by using down back 4. If you do manage to block it, you can then launch the law accordingly. But if he does hit you with the move, he does have a follow up right afterwards, so try your best to not get hit by the move and block it to then punish accordingly. Or if you're really quick with your reactions, go with your hop kick. Or even your down forward 2 depending. That is if you do have a down forward 2 that launches. So that is everything. I feel like I have already covered everything that you need to learn when it comes to law. Of course, I didn't mention all the strings that go into Dragon's Charge. I would advise you to go into his move list and then see all the strings that go into Dragon's Charge yourself. That way you can then learn exactly which type of strings that you'll then have to then be careful of once he decides to go into Dragon's Charge. As long as you understand that, you will be able to then stop the law player from constantly trying to go into the slide kick or into the power crush or into anything else that he might try to mix you up with while he's in his Dragon Charge stance. So thank you for watching, like the video if you like the video, dislike it if you dislike it, subscribe to see more of my shit, I do have a Patreon if you do want to support me or if you want to become a YouTube member, go ahead, and if not, it's okay. So, stay safe, stay tuned.